Oh, Mark, please, thank you, Senator, for that segue. Uh, I serve as a parent. First of all, I'm a parent of four children who attend the schools here in the district, uh, public, private schools, and as well as um, private schools, even though it's not a district school. But anyway, I've logged in thousands of hours of volunteer time with the Parent Advisory Council, and we've reached out to and we, in collaboration with a lot of the parent support groups, as is COVID Advocates, Chinese for Affirmative Action, we've gone out and reached spoken to over 900 families throughout the district to see what resonates with them with, the, with our school district. So I've, I've logged all these hours in time, and so I'm running as a voice to those who have been disenfranchised by the system and people playing politics. So I come to speak for those of you and those of us who feel that we need a bigger voice and a bigger presence here in the school district as well as on the school board. So for, these, for those reasons, these are the main reasons that I run as your champion, as an advocate for you, and it's what we as a district say, as, as a community says, to drive the district and move it in the direction that we see fit. And I also to speak for those uh, families who children are dealing with the mental health issues and to stop ending our social promotion because if we continue, uh, if we look at the housing crisis, it's the same thing that's happening with our school crisis. We're getting things we can't afford and we can just walk out at the end. Omar Grace. Um, did I mention that I served as the chairperson of the Parent Advisory Council? No. Anyway, we as a Parent Advisory Council, we had the opportunity to have some input into the strategic plan and also to do the first read. So in, in regards to closing the African American achievement gap or just any achievement gap in the city, uh, what we need to begin to do, if, we, if we're coming in, we need to close it at the beginning, close it at the, at the entrance and not at, up on the exit or in, in the middle. So what we need to focus on is a more parent-centered uh, curriculum, bringing the parents and getting them involved early on. If the, if the statistics are out there saying that children that are born to non-professional families are coming to school 32 million words in the deficit, I doubt they're going to catch up inside of the school building. So what we need to do is find a way to allow parents, tell parents first of all that your child is not going to the next grade if he or she doesn't have a handle on the curriculum. That way the parent is now engaged because they know their child will not be moving forward without their support. So when we begin to talk about the achievement gap, that's how we need to look at that. And again, just in the social promotion, and again, everybody has a part to play inside of the strategic plan. We as a community, we need to be more connected and we need to raise, uh, elevate our expectations of all of our schools in the city of China, San Francisco. That way we can deal with the student assignment issues at the same time. Um, first of all, I would have to sit down with the budget analyst and say exactly what's in the budget because I think to leave schools open is fiscally irresponsible because we're looking at buildings that are drawing up more resources from the students than at the classroom level. So in order for me to give my best estimation of what to do, we have to, I would have to know exactly what's in the budget before I can begin cutting to see what is because when you're talking about a half a billion dollars, I don't think there is no...
Anyway, since I'm not running as a tendency as to the school district, I'm going to take the liberty to say, I am not the best, I'm the right choice for this person. The simple fact is I've been to see the sign this system for a time. I have thousands of feet already on the ground. Cindy, you, you, Parent Advisory Council, Parent Advisory Chinese for Affirmative Action, TPS. So I've already spent a lot of time in the community. And what's more important is going through this kind of process allows me to meet more people like you. So what we do, we come that intimidating force and intimidating factor to the school district. We can get our needs met as we see fit as parents. 